one-on-one -on -one today is with a special lady, songwriter, winner of Tasca Project fame. And of course, she is an artist. And she wrote a song that is dedicated to this golden jubilee, who is Esther Nabasa. Hello guys and welcome to today's one-on-one -on -one. and I have a special beautiful lady with me I'm sure you all know her because you supported her to win Tasca Project of Fame and you all know who that is Esther Nabasa from 2008 she won she's a songwriter you all know who she is I'm sure this is not a strange face to you guys Esther how are you doing I'm good Robin. how are you I'm Thanks doing good you're welcome, of course. I like to have beautiful people. <laughs> I like to be interviewed by beautiful people. Oh, so how are you doing right now? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. Mm. First of all, I didn't get to congratulate you when you won, so I'll do it now. Congratulations for Thank representing you. us mm. and winning Tasca Project. Thank you so much. It can't have been easy. Uh, it was not easy. A lot of pressure, a lot mm. of hard work, but I did it in the end. Because competitions, you know, I watch these American idols and X Factors, and I'm like, man, you know, and I, of course I've been following Tasca Project of Fame a bit, and um, how do you get into how do you get into this this competition? Um, you go for auditions. There's about five thousand people at the auditions. Mm -hmm. Then you are you. They select a few, maybe 20, and then they select 10 out of the 20, and then they select the top five mm. from um, the different countries, and then you go. It's a long process, yeah, it and you actually held the flag for us, <laughs> and you won. Thank you. That's what I like. I, I like mm. strong, driven people, because it can't have been, you know, easy. So after winning, what were the prizes? Uh, there's one 25 million shillings, Ugandan mm. shillings, mm. and then there's um, a full year of hair and makeup, in a salon in Kenya, and then there was um, a laptop and um, a phone, many different things. And what I'm, what I'm thinking, I think the biggest prize should be maybe a record label. I oh, mean, you, oh. <laughs> being signed to a record label. Yes, there is that, yes. which was actually the main thing as looking at um, mm. entering the competition, mm. which was the main attraction for me. Mm. Uh, there's, there's, um, a company in South Africa called mm. Gala Records, mm -hmm. and uh, they had a deal uh, to record whoever won the, yes. the competition. So, mm. yeah. so what have you been doing uh, from then up to now? Um, I had to wait for around a year mm -hmm. before I could actually go and record. Okay. Um, there was a lot of contracts here and there, and then they had to prepare studios or something. Mm. So I had to wait for a year, mm. and then I recorded and released the album, mm. and then I pulled it off the market. That's a different story. Yeah. And then after that, um, I sort of took a break. Mm -hmm. In between there, I did a few projects. Um, I worked with Juliana mm -hmm. uh, on her single, Alive Again. Okay. And I worked also with her on I'm Ugandan, mm -hmm. the song she did for I'm Ugandan. Okay. And you were writing these songs? Yeah, composing mainly. Okay. And um, after that, more recently, I've been working on Sip from the Nile, that's the Nile Brewery's uh, mm -hmm. new ad, mm -hmm. and the uh, official Jubilee song, okay. um, Yoga Yoga. Of course, uh, which, which leads me to, because I, of course I know you're a songwriter, so you've worked with Juliana, mm. writing some of her songs. Any other artists? Mm. No, not really. Okay, and so now that leads I've me to... I've just collaborated with some artists, mm. like um, Kawesa, okay. uh, who I collaborated with on uh, Sip from the Nile, okay. whereby he was the manager and the songwriter. So this project, how this project come about, writing the Jubilee song? Um, basically, it was a partnership between uh, me, Kawesa, and uh, the producer, Michael Mugisha, mm -hmm. um, where uh, I did the composing, uh, Michael did the production work, mm -hmm. and Kawesa was the manager mm -hmm. of the project. And this is for just for Sip of the Nile or Yoga Yoga? That is for um, Yoga Yoga. Yoga Yoga, Sip which from is... from the a... Nile was a whole different time. Okay, so yeah, so Yoga Yoga is the Jubilee song. Yes. Yes. And you, you, you collaborated with these three people. Yeah. 
to okay mm -hmm. and now what was the inspiration behind of course everyone has their inspiration what was the inspiration behind um, this particular song of course the the whole theme the uganda mm -hmm. jubilee mm -hmm. um where we've been the wars the struggles um the development and then where we're going from here yeah so that i had to incorporate all of that in the song very creative writing okay. <laughs> and then also when nile, nile was uh premiered sip of the nile mm. which you also wrote mm. and sip of the nile actually was the first one that i had before i had yoga yoga mm. and it also that song mm. now was that a arrangement between you and nile or because i don't know if it was you released this as a, a single or mm. was it just specifically contracted for nile to be to use it um, it was an arrangement between Nile and Kawesta, mm -hmm. who then approached me and Michael. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. so and, and now, so it's one of your singles. Yes. So Sip of Nile Yoga. But then it is um, specifically for the use of Nile Glory. For the use of Nile yeah. Glory. So it's contracted to them. Yes. Okay. However, we still hear it on, TV, on radio anyways. Mm. Almost every commercial. That hear. was the whole yeah. idea behind, like to make it a proper song mm. and then use yeah. it for that. And uh, it's creating a lot of buzz. Uh, mm. Tell me some of the things that both Yoga Yoga and Sip from the Nile, mm. some of the either contracts or deals you got, because it's making a big buzz. Um, what kind of buzz? I mean, I'm hearing it. I'm hearing it on radio all the mm. time, mm. which is why I told you people are actually wondering mm. once they find out that you are behind that though like where has she been you know this mm. is a good song and me i listen to radio so i hear i hear it a lot and yeah that is the kind of buzz i feel like it's creating mm. so i don't know if it's brought any further pro projects to work on starting mm. from that because it's kind of like it's kind of like a comeback it is i yeah. believe it is mm. and it's a very good opportunity for me because then it um gives me a great second start mm, mm. and of course it's going to you're going to hear more of it because mm. as the independence day draws nearer mm. you'll hear, you hear you know it. more of it all right now let's get away from independence because of mm. course that's going to be seasonal mm. now new projects from esther nabasa as um. musically collaborating with 80 people mm. you're working on an album right now mm. Actually, I'm working on an album. Okay. I've finished about four singles of that. Mm -hmm. And the first one will probably be out in two months. Okay. Yeah. All right. And collaborations with any people? No, not yet. Not yet? Not yet. But I think I'll have some. Oh. And who, who do you... I'm sure when you were contesting for Tasca, mm. you have somebody you look up to. Maybe mm. in the Ugandan industry or not, even mm. maybe outside. Mm. Who is that person that inspires you? Um, in Uganda, what I think is um, really admirable is Juliana. Of course. Yeah. Her vocal ability, her, the way she carries herself is mm. not like this whole let me undress and show all my goodies type of thing. Yeah. Yes. Very so, respected. Um, yeah. Very dignified. I like it. And um, abroad, I'd say internationally, Enya. Enya. Mm. Okay, Enya is from... I don't even know where she's from. Yeah, I've heard of that name, but I'm, I'm not sure what country she's she from. She does like Celtic, Celtic music. Yeah, very unique kind of different very, music. Yeah. Mm. Yes, I thought so. Mm. Alright, so um, this beautiful lady, you have a boyfriend? Because <laughs> you know me, I, th uh, this is a hard seat for me. Hmm. And I like to know, especially now I'm sitting <laughs> with a lady for God knows the uh, first time in the season. Uh, I need to know, is this lady taken or should the guys Very look taken, out? very, very taken. I'm married. <laughs> yeah, she's a married. Okay. Subject close. Yeah. Subject close. Sorry. <laughs> Well, thank you very much for talking to me, Esther. It's thank been you nice having me. hanging out with you. Thank you. And wish you luck in all the projects that thank you're working you so on. Much. Thank you. Very bright future, by the way. I hope I so. I personally believe you're I one of so. the Julianas that are going to represent <laughs> us on an international <laughs> thank level. You. Which thank you already you. did. You held the flag for us. Thank so you. So thank you very much. Thank you for having me. All right, guys, I'm going to take a quick break, but don't go anywhere. I'll be right back.